Hello and welcome to blog number 42, me learning to play the Melodeon. Uh, the other day I was reading a post on Melodeon.net, which is the forum for Melodeon players, uh, about a tune called uh, The Grand Old Duke of York, which of course is a, a famous um, nursery rhyme from here in the UK. And I thought, yeah, I quite fancy having a go at that. Um, I teach um, young children uh, in school, so it'd be a really good one to learn. So I picked up my trusty uh, Erica, this one here, in the keys of G and C. I thought, well, I'll do it in C. And I, I like to play the low notes. Uh, for one, I like the sound of the low notes, and two, it's a lot easier. Uh, I find playing the upper octave a bit harder. So I set off uh, with my E note here, and very quickly ran into trouble, as you'll see. Because I don't have that low E on this particular melodeon because this one has accidental notes on this button rather than low notes. And so um, I had to uh, switch to a different melodeon as I'll now show you. Uh, this is a one row uh, box as you can see, it's in the key of C and with this one you've got that low uh, E note down there which is great. Um, so I'll just play it through for you. It sounds great in that key, doesn't it? So you're starting on the E. And there's that low E that we need to play the tune properly. Now, there is a way of bodging this tune that I'll show you in a moment, but let's just stick with this one for a moment. Um, nice harmony there that you can play. Um, you've got a D and a B. It goes with the G chord. Um, the highest note is F. And this is a three chord instrument. Some of these one row uh, boxes only have two chords. You could do this with just a C and a G chord, but it's nice to, to put the F chord in there. Um, you've got it on the pull and the push. You need it on the pull, because the highest note is F on the pull. Uh, this makes a really good four finger exercise for both hands, because all the notes are on these four buttons. There's your four finger exercise there, so start with the little finger, and with this hand, fingers one and two there. And fingers three and four there. So four fingers, both hands, and that works really well, doesn't it? Uh, let's go back to the original box I was playing and show you a way of fudging or bodging the tune so you can actually play it on that instrument. Okay, so you haven't got that low E to go down to, so what you can do is you can play it like this. So instead of singing it, oh the grand old duke, dropping down to that E, just play grand old duke of York all on the C note. So that uh, gives you this. So the only compromise you've got there is you haven't got that low E, you've still got the harmony, you've still got the chords, so you've got the C chord there, G chord there, and the F chord of course is on the inside row. Now it's not a four finger exercise because all the bass notes uh, are on this sort of bottom four cluster. I tend to use fingers four and three just to try and strengthen my fingers because I, I tend to always use the four fingers. Uh, you could start off with your third finger. Uh, you only need three fingers but again 
Uh, for me, uh, a bit of a glutton for punishment, I start off with my little finger to strengthen that particular finger. So what would happen if you wanted to play it um, on the G row, it play in the key of G, right? Okay, same problem. You haven't got that low note, so you can have to do the same bodge. Um, grand old Duke of your... It's going to be all G there. Still got the harmony. In this key it's an A and an F sharp note to go with the D chord on the pull. Now the C note on the pull... You've got a problem with the bass there, so... Um, the only way to do that is to play the C note on the C row. And so you can so and you've got the C chord on the push. So there we are, that's how to play that on the GC uh, melodeon that has accidentals on these top two buttons. Um, just going to show you uh, another box of mine which is quite interesting uh, and you'll see that I can actually uh, get that low note even though this particular box I'm going to show you has got accidentals as well. Now I did feature this uh, lovely old box in a previous blog of mine. It's a Sibylla Brandt uh, from the 1930s, made in Saxony in Germany. And it's a pretty weird uh, looking instrument, isn't it? I really like it. Uh, sadly the bellows are not great on it, they're a bit, uh, they're a bit floppy, a bit leaky. But I still love it, it's got a great sound. And it's got this curved um, line of buttons. It's a GCF, so you've got a G row here. C row here, F row here. So the F row, this inside row, row nearest the, the bellows, if you like, um, is a fourth button start. So you can reach that note there. Uh, and that low note is an A. So you start on a higher A. And you've got that low A there, even though you've got this uh, accidental button there, a button that gives you two accidentals. And quite unusually, uh, it's black, whereas all the others have a white insert. So you're in the key of F. The harmony there. A G and an E to go your C chord. B flat's the highest note. Lovely sounds, it lovely sort of warm, rich, kind of wet sound, which I really like. So the chords there F, C, F, B flat, F, C, F. So a typical three chord trick in the key of F. So I'm really glad they crammed that uh, extra button in because I've got that nice low A. The middle row, which is C in the key of C, also has uh, that uh, low note in that key as well. Um, so start with your little finger and it drops down to that low E there. The harmony is a D and a B to go with your G chord on the pull. Now the F note you've got to get on the F row. Uh, do you remember we did that? Uh, on the other melodeon when we were playing in the key of G. Uh, so we're in the key of uh, C here. The F note is the highest note in the tune. And you've got to get it on the F row uh, to go with the F chord on the push. So that gives you this.
Now, when we go to the G row, the outside row, sadly we don't have that low B. So we've got to do the bodge of playing the G for the grand old you goof your. Got the harmony, the A and the F sharp to go with the D chord. Now we've got to do the C chord, C note. on the C row, on the push, just like we did before, and when we played in the key of C. So that gives us this. So it's a pretty unusual box this, uh, it's a, a funny old uh, Melodian, but I really like the sound of it. Uh, just going to show you this on one more instrument if I may, and that's my Dino Buffetti in the key of D and the key of G. So again, this instrument has accidentals, so we don't have the low note, so we've got to do the bodge. So we start on the note B, we do the bodge of playing the Grand old Duke of you all on the G instead of going Grand old Duke because we haven't got that low B. We've got the A and F sharp harmony there on the pull to go with the D chord on the pull. And the highest note of the tune is uh, a C and we pull our C chord there. So on, so that gives us this. I mean, you can, of course, play the tune just with two chords. It's just G chord and D chord, but you know, I prefer to use the three chords if I can. Uh, and to wrap things up, I'm going to play this on the D row, this outside row. Uh, same problem, haven't got the low note. Um, we start, the start note is F sharp. Haven't got the low F sharp, so we're going to play Grand L Duke of York, all on the D note. The harmony is E and C sharp. Let's go with our A chord on the pull. Now our top note of the tune is G, which is there, but unfortunately we haven't got a chord to go with it, so we've got to do it on the G row, so we can push the G chord. So that gives us this. So if anyone ever asks you why you own so many Melodians, uh, you can use this video as an excuse. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next vlog.